Every season has a story, but summers in Meadow Grass Village outshine any other story you might have heard. I don't think there is anyone in the world who hasn't heard about winters in Meadow Grass Village, a time when the mountains dressed in white bear witness to the majesty of the winter games, while the frozen lake turns into an ice rink between the cozy little wooden stalls from the winter market and magical snow sculptures. But perhaps autumns in Meadow Grass Village are as popular as winters, a time when the comfort in silence of nature is only interrupted by the crunching step of the thick carpets of golden leaves and the turning of pages by dozens of villagers gathered at the public tree house library. Or maybe the reason why autumns in Meadow Grass Village are so well known is the golden wheat evenings, when the townsfolk gather at sunset beside fields of golden wheat to play the harps, fiddles and flutes around the huge bonfire. But anyone who has attended the Spring Fest, the Fairies of the Rain celebration or the Festival of Flowers will probably tell you there is no other season like spring to visit Meadow Grass Village, a time when all villagers seem to dress in pastel linens and carry wicker baskets packed full of the most beautiful flowers. A time when the breeze carries the pleasant melodies of birds singing and young goats, deer and rabbits can be seen running free among the wildflowers. But summers, oh, summers in Meadow Grass Village had shine any other story you might have heard. Legend has it that long, long ago, summer was the least favorite season in Meadow Grass Village. Despite the abundance of fruit and vegetables, despite the endless sunny days and pleasant solstitial evenings by the lake, summer wasn't something its residents looked forward to. It is said that when the Willow Crown sisters joined the Council of the Valley, they were determined to change that. The Council summoned an extraordinary assembly to consider their proposals to turn the dispiriting summers into something the whole village would eagerly await. The sisters were as marred as they were beautiful and kind. They knew meadow grasses are people in tune with nature and that the spirit changes with the seasons. During summer, they become the most social, lively and cheerful creatures. The sisters knew that their fellow townsfolk would be excited about the abandoned tables of fresh foods, live music and dancing, spending time by the lake, meeting new friends and celebrating nature together. According to the legend, their proposal was accepted unanimously and with that, the Festival of Summer Wonders in Meadow Grass Village was born.
It is said that after a storm comes calm, but in Meadow Grass Village, during the week of the Festival of Summer Wonders, just the opposite is true, and anyone who has witnessed the tranquility at dawn will not believe that laughter and music will soon fill the atmosphere. As the early rays of sunlight weave a golden tapestry across the meadows and the warm breeze sweeps through the village filling the air with the aroma of blooming flowers and fresh fruit, the residents of Meadow Grass Village start decorating the cobblestone streets and setting up the wooden stalls in the village square. On spring mornings, Quaint Square brings together dozens of residents who quietly share stories as they wind down on wooden benches and contemplate the little wild flowers that peek out from between the cobblestones. But during summer, the quiet courtyard turns into a jolly place. Villagers of all ages enliven the atmosphere with cheerful songs as they hung colourful bunting and flowers. By mid-morning, the village square is dressed with lively colours and the stalls are filled with fresh fruit and vegetables that overflows from crates and baskets.
In the center, lanterns hang from all lampposts, ready to spotlight the picturesque fountain adorned with hand-carved woodland creatures. The square breathed culture and traditions. On the days of the festival, the townsfolk don the finest summer attire. The Anamars, deeply rooted in their cultural heritage, embrace the connection to earth by wearing their traditional hem tunics and dresses adorned with handmade belts. The people of Nolo, known for their ethereal beauty and grace, don light and delicate white garments. Meadow grasses and quiet ponders, known for the connection to nature, opt for breezy fabrics and earthy tones and hues reminiscent of blooming flowers. The town courtyard becomes a lively fairground, filled with delights and ready to welcome villages of all regions. The irresistible aroma of grilled corn on the cob invites everyone to indulge in the culinary delights and villagers line up to eat and fill their baskets. While farmers proudly display their bountiful crops, Mrs. Rochelle, Flowerberry and her maids delight visitors with their homemade pies, cakes and bread. All her creations are highly regarded but nothing is as popular as a freshly baked summer bread and chamomile malt. As the stalls begin to empty, the folks start to dance and sing to give a warm welcome to the band from the neighboring town of Quiet Bond, who play lively tunes that fill everyone's heart with joy. As the hours go by, The villagers head towards the fields where they engage in friendly competitions and crafting workshops, exchanging the skills and local traditions. The council of the valley always places banners and stalls with beverages in various places near the meadows. When the sun dips below the horizon and the lanterns and the moon are lit, Hundreds of villagers carrying the full baskets come to the lake of dreams. There is nothing like the atmosphere of summer evenings at the lake of dreams, when the steam and the moon's silver glow fill the air with magic. The scene is a spectacle in itself, with fireflies dancing around the lights and displaying their enchanting glow as they fly over the slumbering wildflowers on the lake banks. But besides contemplating and cherishing nature's own artwork, villagers and visitors come together at the Lake of Dreams to celebrate their evening ceremonies, where the enchantment of fairy tales becomes a reality.